Hey guys, welcome to my messy tutorial where I am going to walk through how to install DFDNet. This is the repo that uh, I use for my video DFDNet for photo restoration. And yeah, this tutorial will be for Windows users and for NVIDIA graphics card mostly. Uh, there are probably ways you can get around without a NVIDIA graphic card. You can probably use CPU, but I haven't tested that. Um, if you want to try it, you can ask some questions on my Discord channel. So if you have any questions, join my Discord channel. So first of all, open up a place where you want to install this AI at, right? And create a new folder for DFDNet. And then you can download a code and you can download the code like this. And you drag it in, unzip it, extract it, and you don't need the zip folder anymore. I'm gonna try, I drag it out, so it reduced the folders. So after I drag it out, it reduced the layer, a layer of folders, which wasn't necessary. Now you have all the stuff, um, most of the stuff. The next thing you're gonna do is download a uh, Checkpoints, Weights, and Dictionary Center 512. There's a Google Drive link you can use. Um, I suggest you can download the whole folder. Same goal with this one. I will, I will download by, uh, these, this by itself since it's easier. And Checkpoints. And you have a face FH dictionary, and there's one here. We, we have to remember how the path looks like. I'll show you again later. And they have a good layout here to show you how it will look like. So what you basically have to do now is to create folders according to how he laid out, how the author laid out here. So checkpoints, face FH, dictionary and then you put the latest net g path in here when it finished downloading so create a folder for weights and create a folder for diction dictionary center 512 i'm checking for typos um i don't think there are any typos that's great. Um, my files have one, number one, because I already downloaded download it before. So I'm just gonna cancel it real quick. Um, let me use my old file. So so we need the latest net G path, right? You put that in the checkpoint in the F, phase FH here. That's after you download it. And now we put the VGG19 dot path into the weights folder weights folder here this one here and dictionary center it would be something like this so so after everything is done and in the right fo folder you can start creating a conda environment for those of you who don't have Conda installed, you can go watch this video um, from around 1.24 to 3, 3 minutes. I'll be walking through how to set up Conda. And let's get going with Conda. We just copy this line here. Conda create dash in DFT, DFDNet Python equals 3.6. Right now you're creating a new um, conda environment and after you create your conda in environment you will want to activate it and every time you want to reuse this environment you just you keep using this command so whenever you close this you the the environment will be exited and you have to keep on activating it if you want to use the same environment so now you can see that we're in base right and Every time when we want to run DFDNet, you have to ensure that it activates into the DFDNet um, environment. So when it turns to this, you know that you're ready to run whatever command that comes later. So 
the next thing you want to do is you want to install these stuff. So the first one will be conda install PyTorch q.toolkit 10.2-c PyTorch. This will take a while for some people and yeah, be patient. Okay, the next thing is to do pip install dlib. Uh, if you cannot pip install dlib and it gives you an error, um, you go to this link and then there will be instructions for you of how to download, how to install dlib library for Python. And, and the next thing you need to do is to pip install OpenCV Python. And next thing is tqdm. You just paste everything here and scikit image pip install dominant there you go um, pip install dominate and then you'll be mostly done so now what you have to do is uh, and then you want to go cd and then copy the directory here and then go here right but if you're on a different disk you have to specifically enter the word the disk that you have to go to then it will change the disk <clears throat> so now you have to follow this instruction by cd oh you can just copy and paste and copy and paste python setup.py install and then you'll be needing to you need to cd out and now you're mostly set up um so in line 149 in test faced you can open up um in a, in a notepad if you want <laughs> it doesn't really matter so you just gotta find here opt gpu ids here hey okay, it didn't copy Here. And then you can change your GPU ID to um, empty if you are going to use CPU. And then you can put um, your test data, like your raw image, where you haven't aligned the image yet, into this fo uh, folder directory, test data, test hole. You can see test data, test hole. You put the whole image here. And then this is a uh, not aligned image here. And then the result directory will be in test hole results. It will be right here. And now you can try running the program. Okay, so now it shows that my QDA is out of memory. So I'm going to just switch from my GPU to CPU real quick. So remember the option that we were given in, in here taste uh, here we can remove the zero and we can use um, CPU so we just delete the zero so now we try it again okay now after everything uh, it's done um, you can check the results in test hall results and final results here and yeah these are all upscaled images now and let's compare it real quick the input was like this and the output was like this yeah it's pretty obvious so yeah that's about it for setting up this um, github repo AI it has gotten pretty straightforward after he he the, the author updated yesterday uh it was it was pretty messy a while ago but if you still have any questions you can join my discord and ask me there and i created a patreon recently if you're interested please um check it out whoa why why is it up downloading now i didn't do anything okay where was i um yeah check my patreon if you're interested in supporting me and i'll see you guys next time